Welcome to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Each week, Joey answers your questions about the law and how it affects you. Joey, when police are looking for intoxicated drivers, what are they looking for? Well, Steve, it depends on what you mean. They're looking for certain road conditions that make it, one, difficult for a driver to drive on, and second, road conditions where they can't get off. That's where you often see a DUI roadblock set up, and they will often be located within a vicinity or a choke point near some kind of bar or club or restaurant that is frequented by people. And that's that's their most common tactic. The other thing they are looking for is any reason to pull someone over. If they're swerving, speeding, they rolled through a stop sign, all those are very common reasons that an officer will stop someone. And the real reason isn't to, to light, write, write them excuse me, a ticket for a taillight being out or something. The real reason is they're wanting to see if there's anything else going on. And they use that as their probable cause, which under Mississippi law is enough. Oh, I see. Well, let's say I get pulled over and the police officer asks me if I've been drinking. How, how do I answer him? There's two answers here. Either you say no, or you exercise your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You never want to just lie to a law enforcement officer. Uh, that that always starts things down a very bad path. So if you've been drinking, the best advice I can give anyone is to exercise your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Certainly, that's going to raise the officer's suspicion. But at the same time, you have not been dishonest. And the Fifth Amendment, it's not a privilege, and he may give you grief over it, but it's your right to exercise the Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not give him information that will be used to convict you in your own trial. So do I have a right to an attorney while taking a field sobriety test? I wish that was the case. Uh, unfortunately, most field sobriety tests are being used for probable cause reasons to arrest you. And the officer is using them to determine impairment. But there is some case law out there that that says some tests are not admissible for the purposes of impairment. But unfortunately, you don't have the right to your attorney to be present during a field sobriety test. Furthermore, there's the impractical side of most people are pulled over somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and about 3 o'clock in the morning. And it happens throughout the state of Mississippi, and there's just no way that an attorney could be at three different roadblocks doing field sobriety tests for different clients. Yeah, I understand. Um, okay, so I've been pulled over. I'm getting a field sobriety test. Now, beyond the breath test, what's the officer looking for? Is he physical and behavioral things? Well, in the individual, the first thing he is looking for is the smell of alcohol when you roll down the window. They will often testify to smelling an intoxicating beverage or odor emanating from the vehicle. The next thing they're looking for is slurred speech. They want to make sure that your, your speech is crisp and proper. The problem with that being is certainly we've all been around somebody that had a lisp or some other speech impediment, and that that can be a, a conflicting cue that an officer is looking for often. And he's also looking to what's on the seat. You'll see him shining the lights in all the windows of a vehicle, looking to see if there's an open whiskey bottle or beer cans or something like that, because in some counties, open container is enough for, for probable cause. And they are looking for other things. They're looking for drugs. They are looking to see if you are nervous sitting there at the wheel. They may ask you to step outside of the vehicle. And as you walk to the back of the vehicle or the front of the vehicle, whichever one the officer instructs you to, he is watching how you are walking. Are you maintaining your balance? Are you stumbling? Are you dragging your feet? But again, a lot of these these cues are things that can be explained by physical uh, deformities or disorders, or just somebody might be sick or had a surgery recently on a, a sprained ankle or broken ankle. And uh, they certainly may give an officer an idea of whether or not there's alcohol involved, but you can't use any one or two by themselves. Often you have to go deeper, and officers should go deeper before they issue a DUI. Unfortunately, sometimes they do not. Thanks for listening to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Call attorney Franks for a free consultation at 601-773-7777. 
His website is thefrankslawfirm.com.